Hi guys, today we are going to be playing with some new makeup from Unearthly Cosmetics and if you're thinking to yourself, wow, they've come out with a lot this year, <laughs> I would fully agree with you, but I'm not mad at it because I love them as a brand, I think they're so fun to play with and I'm really excited to dig into this new collection. So, well, I don't know if I can call it a collection, but they have released two new palettes here which are super, super cute. We have the Daily Grind palette which is kind of what you expect from seeing the outside. It has a very kind of orangey fall color story. And then I think the one that I'm probably the most excited about is going to be the Dead of Night palette, which is a color story that is right up my alley. I love these sort of jewel tones, very dark mattes, and then some beautiful shimmers to go with it. I think this is a really, really fun palette. Uh, they have also launched seven of their satin liquid lipsticks. Now, I, these are all new shades. I don't know if they're going to be restocking their old shades, but these are the ones that I have in my hands right here, so we are going to swatch them. And also, if you're wondering, <laughs> Because this was the first thing that I thought when I saw the Dead of Night palette. I was like, wait, this is exactly the same as the Glamlight and Scooby-Doo collab. And honestly, if you bought the Glamlight one, I don't think you need the Unearthly one because look at these. I mean, you see what I'm seeing. They're, they're, it's pretty much the same palette. So <laughs> if you bought this, probably don't get this. If you didn't buy any of them, we're going to try this out today and see if it is worth your money. I do have a code with Unearthly, it's just Annette and it will save you 10% off. It is affiliated. These products are going to launch on the 17th at 12 a.m. EST. I will have the prices and the launch information down below in my description box. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start by just lip swatching the lipstick. So I'm gonna go in order of lightest to darkest and we're just gonna see what these ones look like. So here is what the compartment is like. If you haven't seen the old ones that they have, it's exactly the same. They're really, really cute. We're gonna start with this shade. This is the shade called Olivia. Yeah, already I'm like, no, this is not a color for me. I despise these kind of light peachy shades all myself. I think they look horrendous, but it could just be my skin tone too. It is way too light for me. And I also don't really like using a darker lip liner and a lighter lipstick. Not really for me, but I can see a lot of people pulling this off, but I am not going to be one of them. Next shade here, I also don't really love on myself. There's something about peach lipsticks that I just don't get along with. This is a shade called Gianna or Gianna, probably Gianna. That would have to be what it is. I think it's okay. It's not my favorite. I just, I don't like these colors on myself, but if you think it looks nice and you have sort of the same complexion that I do, I am a pretty much a light in foundation these days, and you would probably like this. And I will say the formula of these lipsticks is really nice, but these colors in particular would really like cling to dry spots, at least that's what I've found. And any any lipstick that has sort of like a lot of white in it just tends to really not look the best if you have very dry lips, which I have very dry lips. So I'm excited to try out some of these darker shades instead. This color is so much better. This is such like a, a dark pumpkin spice color. I love this. That is stunning. This is a shade called Amber. So far, this one is definitely my favorite. This color is stunning as well. If I was going somewhere, I try a little harder with the application, but I just want you to see the color like on the skin and on the lips. And I think this one is really pretty. It's sort of like a muted kind of red. And I like this one a lot. This is the shade called Aura. Ooh, this one might be my favorite as well. It's between this one and Amber so far. I think I like Amber just a little bit more, just like a preference thing, but this one is beautiful. This is a very classic sort of cool tone red shade, a little bit on the darker side, but I think this one is so pretty as well. And I can definitely see myself using this like in the holiday season or something like that. That is so pretty. And these just, they just look really nice on the lips. Like I've always liked this formula and I think that like the darker shades in particular are just so smooth and look so nice and I'm here for that. I'm excited to try the last two. I wasn't sure which of these three would be like the darkest so I just kind of picked one. So let's go ahead and do Danielle next. This is a beautiful, beautiful dark brown. Maybe a little too dark for what I'm comfortable with like out in public, but I can definitely see myself like using this to complete a look and taking some pictures and stuff like that. This is so pretty. 
I do feel like I suit dark colors, but I'm just too much of a clumsy person to actually like wear a dark color like this out and not have it all over me after I've eaten or drank something. So that's just not happening. But I think if you're not that kind of person and you like darker lipsticks, you would love this. This is so pretty. So this is the last shade. This is the shade called Gloria. I think this is beautiful. I'm actually gonna leave this shade on while I do the look. So we're gonna start with the grind palette, the daily grind. I don't know why I wanna say the grind. It's like the daily is written in such small writing that at first, when I first got it, I thought it was just grind, but it's called the daily grind. So we're gonna start with this palette. I'm gonna do a look with this today. And then tomorrow for me, I'm gonna do a look with the other palette, which for you is gonna be in the same video. But I'm gonna start with this one, which is why I wanted to wear sort of colors that would go with this palette. So kind of my first impressions and my thoughts after having swatched this palette only and looked at it is I feel like there's too much orange. Like I get that they wanted it to be orange, but I don't think we needed like five orange shades in this palette. And I also feel like this green matte is kind of, it's kind of lonely. Like what am I gonna do with that? I'm not gonna try to blend a green matte into an orange matte. Like that's gonna turn into a muddy mess. So I don't really have any other options on what to do with that matte because Color theory wise, it's just really hard to work with them. So I don't really want that one to touch any of the oranges. And then I'm either stuck doing an all green look with these two shades or doing that on my lower lash line or, you know, kind of flipping them and doing these in the crease and that's in the lower lash line. It's like, I just, I don't feel like I have a lot of options. And I'm also not a fan of these two shade here formula wise. They're very dry and very satiny, which is just not my thing at all, but that's just a personal preference thing. I also like my darkest shade in the palette to be a matte and not a shimmer. So this to me just isn't a perfect palette, but I still think that we're gonna be able to get a good look out of it. And I sort of have an idea for what I wanna do. Like I really wanna try to mix these tones together and I think I'm gonna do a bit of a graphic look today because I feel like that is the best way to be able to do that. So I'm gonna start with this shade here because I do wanna use the green and I just don't wanna do what I feel like everyone else is going to do. So I'm gonna start with the green sort of in the front portion of my crease here. Um, and like I said, I'm not gonna be blending this into the oranges. So I'm gonna keep this very focused just in the front of my crease and also just blend it in a little bit up here. I'm gonna take this about halfway across and then we're gonna do the oranges as a bit of a, a wing shape. And again, I really don't want this to blend into the orange mat, so I'm, I'm gonna just not take it too, too far here. I think something like this is gonna look quite nice. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flat sort of eyeliner brush like this, and I'm gonna use that to create my wing shape. And I think I'm gonna use this color. This one's just kind of screaming my name. So I'm gonna take that on this brush, try not to pick up too much because I might get a little bit of fallout with this, but I'm gonna try to be careful. I'm gonna do this the way that I always do my sort of wing that looks. I'm just gonna stamp this on where it is that I want this shape to be. So something like this, and then just do the same thing on the other eye, try to get them even, just going up from my lower lash line. It's all about getting that angle right. And then taking a bit more on my brush, and I'm just gonna connect that to the top of the hood of my eye. And just fill in the outer triangle with this eyeshadow. <sighs> you know when your wings just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger because they're not even? That's me right now. Just switching to a bit of a larger brush. This is one of the new ones from BK Beauty. It's the 210. I love this. It's a, basically a very large <sighs> kind of pencil brush, I guess I would explain it as but it's really nice for just packing on color in a certain area. So I'm using this in a bit of a diagonal line here. I'm making sure to not look up now because if I do, this color here is gonna end up in my crease up here and I don't want that to happen. But as soon as I go in with the shimmers, I find that the mattes don't really transfer in the same way. So I'm just gonna be kind of careful right now. 
So I'm going to try to use quite a few of these shimmers. I'm going to use a bit of the shade called Motivate, which is the one that I don't really love just because of the formula that it is. It's also kind of like, I don't know if waxy is the right word, but you know when a shadow feels kind of sticky in a way. I don't know if that is the right way to explain it either. I'm going to spray this a little bit just because I don't want to get any fallout with this. And I'm basically going to take that just sort of over the edge of where the matte orange sort of ends. And I'm going to try to use three shimmers on my lid here. So I'm not going to use a lot of this. I just want to use this as a bit of a, a bridging color here in between everything. I mean, it does look quite nice on the eyes. And this would probably be a nice sort of like one and done kind of shade, which isn't really my thing. So I wish that this one was maybe a little bit more just metallic. But again, that is just because that is what I prefer myself in my eyeshadows. I'm next going to go in with the green shimmer, which is this one down here. I just want to get that on before I go in with the sort of blending shade in the middle of the two so this is obviously going to go in the front portion of my lid here and i'm going to put on quite a lot of this i am going to make sure i don't blend this into the sort of red shade though but that is a really really pretty color So I have a little bit of a gap just in between the colors here. I'm going to go in with the shade called Inspire. I think this one is going to be a good kind of bridging shade because it's sort of a... I don't even know how to explain this, but I feel like it's neutral enough that it's going to blend into both of these without it uh, getting muddy at all. So I'm just going to kind of place it in the middle to start off and then I'm going to try to work on the blend between the three colors after. Man, these wings are just so not even, but hopefully when I get some lashes on, you're not going to be able to see it too well. I'm trying to figure out if there's any way I can fix it, but I just, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and finish off with this look. This is all I'm going to do for the shadows. I'm just going to kind of finesse the blends a little bit here. Nothing that you really need to see, I don't think. And I'll come back and I will show you the first completed look. Okay, so this is the first look all done. I really like how this turned out. I think that the color combination is really fun, but again, I do think it's maybe a little bit hard to work with and not as versatile as I would think, but the formulas worked well. I didn't have any problems working with it. I think everything looks great. Uh, the only thing that I would say, like the color story maybe could have been a little bit different. I think that if I were to have changed this palette, I would have probably swapped out maybe one of these two oranges with like a dark brown so that you would have something to sort of, you know, blend this uh, green into as well as just get a little bit more depth in this palette because I feel like this shade really needs a dark matte to go with it. So I'm not sure if we needed three orange mattes and I feel like maybe two of them would have been enough. That's just like my personal take on this. So that's probably what I would change without like changing the color story too much or even just putting in like a dark green matte would be really nice as well. But I do enjoy the look and I did finish it off with the Dreamlike Lashes from Unearthly, one of my favorites. I think that they are beautiful. So let's just go ahead and do a look with the other palette as well because I'm excited to test that one out. Now let's do a look with the other palette. So this is the Dead of Night palette and I'm looking at this and I'm kind of trying to think in my head what maybe other people have done with this because I want to try to maybe use some of the shades that haven't been used that much and I haven't watched anybody's videos because I don't like watching other people review something that I'm going to review but I have seen a lot of people review this already and I feel like most people are probably playing with sort of like the purples or the greens and the blues together. So maybe I'll try to incorporate like the, the silver or something like that just to sort of get a little bit of a different look out of this. I'm thinking also these two would be really cool together and maybe these two paired with a dark green could be kind of cool. So I think I'm gonna do maybe like these two in my crease. I know that's kind of weird, but I also think it could be kind of fun. 
and then do these two on my lid maybe like some blue on my lower lash line i'm gonna start with this shade which is the gray matte it's called gloom i'm not usually someone who uses a lot of gray shades but when i did a look with the all done up palette from blend bunny i really enjoyed using the grays in there so i kind of want to just i don't know play with some grays again and see how it goes so I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. This is a really, really nice gray. It's performing so well. I think this is where I'm going to leave it with the shadow. That went on so nicely. I'm going to try to deepen this up with the blue. No, not the blue, the green. Uh, and this is the shade called Merc. So this one has a little bit of like tealy undertones to it from just the looks of it. So I think these are going to work quite well together. I'm just going to start by packing it in the very outer corner of my eye and then we'll blend these two together a little bit. And I think they're going to make a quite a smooth, nice blend here. But let me just kind of work on that and see how that goes. I actually love how these look together. Like that is a really cool color combination that I'm not sure if I've ever done before. And it's, if it's looking a little bit patchy, just like on my eye hair, it's just because I didn't tap out my eyeshadow primer properly. So don't judge the shadow for that because that was totally my own fault. So I'm gonna keep it pretty much like this. I think I don't wanna blend it in too much. I'm, I do want the front portion to be mostly gray because I do think I'm gonna do the gray or the silver shimmer like on the front portion and then maybe lighten it up with some kind of a iridescent highlighter or something like that. I don't know if I have an iridescent silver highlighter or something that's like very sheer but just sparkly but I do feel like I need something a little bit lighter in this look when we get to that point. I can't quite decide what it is I want to do under my eye. I kind of want to play with the blues, but I don't know how they're going to look with the rest of this look. So I'm actually going to do the shimmers first before I do my lower lash line, just so I can sort of see how that looks all together. Just going to put on a little bit of my NYX glitter primer. Now that I think about it, um, Unearthly actually sent me their glitter glimmer grip or whatever they ended up calling it in the package where they sent me the so strange palette that i never ended up getting i mentioned that in another video or maybe it was earlier this video i'm not really sure I've, i feel like everything is just kind of blurred together but i'm thinking about picking up one myself since that package got lost in the mail have you tried it and if so do you like it because i'd like to try it i'm just curious so i'm gonna start with the gray actually and i'm gonna do that on the first front of my lid and then i'm gonna blend the green sort of you know in the middle of them and kind of merge them together so i'm gonna start with the gray which is called nightfall this one didn't swatch like super metallic or anything like that so i don't think this is going to be anything too crazy but i do feel like this is probably going to wear extremely well just because of the formula that it is but i do wish it had a little more maybe sparkle to it or just maybe it was a little bit more special but i do think that the color of it is really fun so i'm gonna pick up some of the green next i'm just making sure i'm wiping off my brush well so that i can get just green on my eye and i'm just gonna put that right in the middle here and then just sort of work on the blend between the two colors I do find this shade to be kind of hard to pick up and it's very hard pressed into the pan so I really have to like use my brush and kind of rough it up in order to get enough product on my brush. Just a little observation. I do feel like that sometimes happens with some of Unearthly's shimmers. I feel like they have a couple of different shimmer formulas but once you get these on your eyes like they are very very pretty. Just gonna go back in with the dark green and make sure that the outer edge is looking nice. And I think I'm just gonna do the same underneath my eye. Probably just gonna use this shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke this all the way, almost all the way across. And then maybe I'll take a bit of the lighter green matte as well, just so we can try that one out too. And that is a shade here called garden so i'm just going to take a bit of that on a small kind of flat packing brush here and just press that right here 
it didn't add that much to the look, but I think that it's going to come together in the end. I might actually layer some of that green shimmer over the top of this as well. So I'm picking up some more of that green shimmer shade and I am going to spray this a little bit with some Fix Plus because I wanna make sure that I can be nice and precise with this. And I also don't want to get any kind of fallout with this. I'm just gonna layer it right over where I put down the green matte. Yeah, this is looking really nice. I like this a lot. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish off with my eyes. I don't think I really wanna do anything else. I am going to put on one of the lipsticks though, uh, just whichever one I feel like goes best with this look. And I'm gonna find something for the inner corner. I don't know exactly yet what that would be. Um, actually, let, let's maybe, maybe try this. Mm. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Blend Bunny palette to the rescue. I'm gonna take the shade called Transient and I'm just gonna use that same little pencil brush here. This is an iridescent green shade and I feel like that's gonna go kind of nicely with this look. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that just like right here. And here is the final look. So my lash application today is <laughs> not ideal. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't know why I struggle so much. Now I can't find lashes, okay, they're right here. The ones I'm wearing are the Preta Porter lashes from Kiss. I did get these sent in PR, and I did trim them a little bit more this time because I felt like the last time I wore them, they were too long and they were like poking my eye. And today I just could not for the life of me get them on properly. And I've fussed with these probably for like 15 minutes now and they're still not perfect. So just ignore that. My lipstick today is of course from Unearthly and I use a lip liner with it. Uh, this is Colourpop Sprink and then I used a shade called uh, Gianna and I kind of blotted it out quite a bit because I felt like this shade, like fully opaque, is not my favorite so I wanted a bit of a darker lip liner and then I kind of blended this in with the lip liner so that's why maybe it's looking a little bit darker than it was the first time I swatched it but I really like this look. I really like these palettes so far. I think quality wise, they're perfectly fine. I would say that the color stories maybe aren't what I would have picked out for myself just because I feel like there are things that I would change with both of these, but I also understand that with the theme, that's kind of what they were going for. So maybe they're not like my perfect color stories, but I think if you like what you see, you're gonna like the palette. Just keep in mind that some of the shimmers in here are a little bit hard pressed. And I find that to be the case with all of the square pan shimmers from Unearthly. Most of them are kind of hard pressed. So just something to keep in mind. I usually have better luck with these smaller pans from Unearthly. And I, what I meant when I said square pan, I meant all of their pans are square, I'm pretty sure these days. I mean like these large pans, these seem to be a little bit harder pressed than the shimmers that come in the small square pans. So I do prefer the smaller square pans from Unearthly. I just find that the shimmers are a little bit looser and I don't know if that's just like the way the pressing machine works or if they mean for it to be like that. But I think the shimmers in this palette are my favorites over the shimmers in this palette, but I think this color story is more of my alley than this one, even though I do think I like the look I did with this one just slightly more, just because it was different and it's not something I feel like I've done before. And you guys seem to really like the look uh, as well after I posted my ranking video. So I think those are going to be my thoughts. I mean, I think if you have these palettes in your hands and you think that this is something that you're going to like, I think you're going to like them. I think they're fun. And I'm just always excited to see what Unearthly come up, comes out with because I feel like they are pretty unique and they're not afraid to like try different color stories, try something new, try something that hasn't really been on the market before. So yeah, I think these are fun. Um, as for the liquid lipsticks or the matte satin lipsticks, matte satin liquid lipsticks? No, satin liquid lipsticks. <laughs> these are really nice. If you're looking for a more comfortable liquid lipstick formula, these are really nice. They're not as long lasting, of course, as a matte liquid lipstick, but they are pretty long lasting, honestly. And I don't find them to be super drying on the lips as well, but they will transfer a little bit onto like glasses. And if you're eating or, you know, whatever, they, they'll wear off a little bit, but I think they're really nice. And I hope that they keep expanding their shade range. I would like for there to be some more kind of brownish tone nudes, maybe like some more wearable, warm tone orange shades, like that would be kind of fun. But I mean, whatever they come out with in these, I'm gonna be happy because I think they're really nice. So that's gonna be my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you wanna see some more Unearthly uh, content, I of course have a very long playlist. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.